Live from Downing Street, this is BBC News. The Prime Minister sets a date. The UK will go to the polls on July the 6th. Rishi Sunak explains the timing of the announcement. It took many in Westminster by surprise. He tells the BBC economic stability has returned. Inflation now back to normal, the economy growing at a healthy pace, wages have been rising sustainably for months, energy bills coming down, and now is the right moment, therefore, to think about our future and whether we want to build on the progress that we've made and ensure that we can have a secure future for everyone and their families. The Labour leader says that the election is the moment that the country has been waiting for. On the 4th of July, you have the choice, and together, we can stop the chaos, we can turn the page, we can start to rebuild Britain and change our country. We'll be live across the country for you this morning with those leaders as they begin their election campaign. We'll have all the reaction and the analysis here on BBC News. Good morning and welcome to Downing Street. A very different day here today than that weather that beset the Prime Minister yesterday when he announced the date for the general election. The UK will go to the polls on July the 4th. It was a lot of rain and a lot of noise for the Prime Minister to battle yesterday. But those leaders of the parties have wasted no time in setting out their campaign now. Six weeks today, the UK will go to the polls to decide who enters that building behind me and who will form the next government. Now, the Prime Minister has been speaking this morning. He's been talking to BBC Breakfast. And it's fair to say that announcement yesterday really did come as some surprise, catching many in Westminster by surprise. That snap election just six weeks from now. So the Prime Minister has been detailing some of his reasoning for why the election will happen when it will. It's been a difficult few years for the country and the news that we've had over the last few weeks shows that we have restored economic stability. Inflation now back to normal, the economy growing at a healthy pace, wages have been rising sustainably for months, energy bills coming down and now is the right moment therefore to think about our future and whether we want to build on the progress that we've made and ensure that we can have a secure future for everyone and their families or we go back to square one with more uncertainty uh, with the Labour Party. When it comes to the economy, of course I know there's more work to do. I know that people are only just starting to feel the benefits of the changes that we've brought. And for some people, when they look at their bank balance at the end of every month, it will still be difficult. But we have undeniably made progress and stability has returned. Inflation has returned back to normal. Wages have now been rising for months. We are now growing faster than most of our major competitors. Energy bills are coming down. So that really is progress. There is stability and that's why we can now think about the future. And in an uncertain world, I believe that I'm the one that's prepared to take bold action, that we've got a clear plan, and that's how we'll deliver a secure future for everyone and their family. And you, you mentioned migration, if I just touch on that. There's a clear choice at this election. I think illegal migration is unfair. It undermines the sense of fairness that is so central to our character as a country. People coming here, jumping the queue, putting pressure on services and also endangering their own lives. I've got a clear plan to fix that. It requires bold action, the Rwanda scheme, so that we can return people to a safe third country. And you know what? Just the other week, 15 other European countries all signed a statement saying that they agree that you need solutions like that in order to solve this problem. But there's a choice at this election because Keir Starmer doesn't believe that. So there we heard from the Prime Minister giving us details about what exactly uh, will happen next. As we said, the real work now begins uh, as far as that campaigning is concerned. They'll be laying out their stalls for how they intend to win your votes. Um, so let's talk a little more about what we've heard too. Uh, Pat McFadden, of course, Labour MP for Wolverhampton South East. Uh, he's Labour's national campaign coordinator. Uh, he's been speaking to us this morning too about how a vote for Labour is a vote for change. If you're a young person uh, waiting to buy uh, your first home, you want to know that your government is going to put stability first. That's not what we saw from the Conservatives. That's a massive change. What we saw from them was...